Greetings and Deep welcome into to that darkness Ooh. peering. Long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Yes, welcome to Let's Play Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. My first console play I'm going to console game I'm going to play. Yay. <coughs> It's a very unique game. You too will come to understand fear as I have. Silicon Knights. Don't be surround. Nah. Ever I recording in mono to keep the uh file size down. But I shouldn't do this, I have a present of a connection you now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so let's watch the intro. Mm -hmm. You don't look that good. I haven't played this game in a long time. Oh, you don't look good either. Mmm, oh, I'm hungry. Did they spike the maggots? This looks like a clean house to <laughs> do some. Operations. The planets are aligned. Then something is happening somewhere. Eternal darkness. Sanity's weak <laughs> Okay, I think the text is in German. Ooh, nice. Widescreen standard, I can remember that. Volume adjustment, brightness adjustment, language select. Let's stay with English. I really don't want to translate. Save settings, subtitles on, subtitles are always good. Save settings. Memory card slot A. Please do not touch the power button of your memory card. Okay, let's start the game. Press A to continue. Flesh. Mm. Bone. Okay. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. Uh -huh. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Ooh, how can you talk? This is not my story, nor yeah. even the story of the Roivas family. Fine. It is the story of humanity. Uh -huh. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Uh -huh. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ooh, Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless, their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. Hello. How you do? I don't even know how to control this. Oh, she's already armed. Nice. Do we get a tutorial? Uh, uh, monsters? Ooh! Shoot them in the head. Nee! One! Ah! 
No! I'm already dying at the first enemies! They are restless! I need to shoot the heads. Yeah. Oh, they don't really need to shoot the heads, they just stand up. Oh, they can't see me anymore, that's nice. Oh. Hey! What are you talking about? But now my grandfather appears as a ghost before me. Oh. How about waking up? Hometown. Oh, what is persistent? Uh, hello. Miss Alexandra Roivas. Um. Yeah. Who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident <clears throat> with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Oh, notes. Let's put it a bit louder. So okay. Ah, Miss Roybus, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um... Yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Oh. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. We, we left must the warn you, It's yeah. not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. <laughs> There's really not much to see. Why did you show this to her? Miss Roivas, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. It's, you just He's saw wearing his hand. a family ring. Oh, nobody else can wear this family <laughs> ring. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? I could turn under this. demo records or something? What is wrong with you? I have a boner now, thanks to you. I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no There's head. No head. No, <laughs> none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh. We don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. <gasps> there must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Two weeks later. Shocked by grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex rose to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possible a tie to his murderer, it would be here. Okay. Sanity's Requiem. Let's explore the house a bit. Open door. Ooh. It's nice and intuitive. I want to... Okay, let's just punch... Punch the... The, the books for a bit. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh, examine. Detail. In the warm glow of candlewood, the Roivers family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family's secrets are revealed. There is a guy hanging from there. That's it. Hello? I just punched the... Ah, I hate this. Ah. Why is there a cackling sound? There shouldn't be one. Ah, oh, I'm supposed to wait. Let's punch the wall. It is this fun. I could punch the wall all day. Hello? Anybody here? I don't even know where to go. Is this desecrated body still here? That would be awesome. Examine. This looks kind of strange. I guess he has a relationship with this guy. 
Where are looking at? Examine. It's almost midnight. Or middle of the day. I don't know. A slight draft can be felt issuing from beneath the bookshelf. Almost as though a vent or empty space is behind it. Whoa, empty space. Let's punch it with this. I don't think we have to punch this. Okay. I can't examine everything here. Can I move? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, Josh oh, is ready for some action. I can run. Ah! What is the one? Okay. I'm okay, confused. Hmm. There's a draft behind this. I have to open this somehow. I just don't know. Salmon. Oh, detail. The books on this corner seem to focus on the supernatural, the writings of Poe, Lovecraft, the poverty of Blake, the art of Wash. Everything with a tie to a serial horror fantasy. It is all here, a reference line for me to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Oops, why not? Stranger hobbies out there. Swimming himself with peanut butter and dancing in front of schoolgirls. That's kind of strange hobby. But I like doing it. What? Uh, anyways. <laughs> There's a strange noises and whisperings here. I don't like this. Hello? Ooh. Examine. These books contain the history of the Wyvers family. Genealogy, births and death records, deeds and wits. The Wyvers history is a troubled one. As Mediterranean immigrants, the early Wyvers were shunned by other settlers in North America, suspected of witchcraft. The Wyvers were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Wyvers rebuilt their lives. Okay. <coughs> Is there a map? Ooh, I have a key. Equip. Check. Pressing on the report. Okay. Check floor key. Ah. Ooh. Whoop. Okay. A crank socket is mounted on the telescope and appears to be linked to a mirror supported by a brass pedestal. A curious contraption to be sure. What purpose can this possibly serve? Should Alex adjust the mirror? Uh, no, I don't know where to look at. A globe cradled in a wooden frame, its glossy surface is painted in likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated in the northern hemisphere above a label that reads, There be dragons here. Okay. A brass framed mirror set into the wall. The mirror's direction can be adjusted by means of two crankshafts set below it. A curious device, is it related to the telescope in some way? Should Alex adjust the mirror? No. Still not. Why is there some purple light out there? Kind of strange. Oops. So, any other hints in here? What's this? Sheesh, there are quite a lot of frames. A brass framed mirror set into the wall. The mirror's direction can be adjusted by means of two crankshafts set below. A curious device, if it's related, no. Must be some records here about how to. Nope, nothing. Fine. Fuck you. I just punched the door. I accidentally always push A. Urgh, damn door! I hate you! I guess since you have a key to the second floor, let's go to the second floor. Let's run to the second floor. The door is locked. Well, I have a key. Use it. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. Alex has picked up the broken second floor key. Oh, joy! Uh, now I have to repair the key. Great job, Alex!